Himawari has a hidden power that sets her apart from everyone in the series, even her own brother Boruto. This has already been proven in the series but most people didn't notice it. I will show you this later in the video. Naruto and Hinata created a DNA combination like never before. Many think it's a completion of Kaguya's DNA, but that is not entirely correct because physical DNA is not the same as chakra. I will show you this in the video as well. There is a possibility that the Utsutsuki clan descended from two ancient clans, one of which had the Jogen and possibly other still unknown powers that were lost due to DNA combination. But because of the complex division of Kaguya's DNA and very specific reassembly of this DNA, it could be that this ancient power has been reawakened in Himawari and Boruto, a power that not even the Otsutsuki can awaken due to their genetics. If you end up liking this video, consider subscribing. Please enjoy this video. Let's go! Let's quickly go through the standard points and then move on to something others haven't talked about yet. That Himawari is someone special is no longer a secret. Ever since she was able to knock out Naruto together with Kurama, the fandom has been speculating about her true power. The Uzumaki clan is related to Senju and thus also to Hagoromo. The Hyuga clan is related to Hamura. Both are the sons of Kaguya. In addition, Naruto even directly received Hagoroma's chakra and Hinata received Hamura's chakra. This is a combination that has never existed in this form before, not even with Kaguya. Here's the thing that many people overlook. Chakra and physical DNA must be considered separately. Some chakra does not match some physical DNA. This is very important to understand what is going on with Himawari and Boruto and why even though they are both siblings, they are very different from each other, such as Indra and Asura. The DNA in the world of Naruto is not always a combination of the parents' DNA, but often a combination that then splits in a completely new way to the children, and thus can awaken completely new powers. Possibly even awaken powers hidden deep in the genes that were part of the family tree many generations ago, but somehow got lost. Let me explain it in more detail. Inheriting a certain chakra connects you to certain abilities, but it does not automatically allow you to gain all these abilities if you lack the necessary physical DNA to use these powers. Physical genetics and chakra are two completely different things in the world of Naruto, but both are passed on to the next generation. To prove this, one only has to look at the whiskers of Boruto and Himawari. This is an indication that they both inherited Kurama's chakra, so they must have inherited the chakra from Hagoromo and Hamura as well. But now to the crucial point where chakra and DNA differ and how both aspects are related to each other. Although both Naruto and Sasuke receive powers from Hagoromo and thus something that is a mixture of Azura and Indra, which is supposed to be the key to awakening the Rinnegan, only Sasuke received those eyes and why? Because he is in Uchiha and there therefore has the necessary DNA that allows him to manifest the Rinnegan. So it is not enough to have certain chakra to awaken certain powers, but one must also have the necessary DNA in which these powers in combination with a specific chakra can awaken. And this is where the DNA of Naruto and Hinata comes into play. Although both Boruto and Himawari receive the chakra from Hagoromo and Hamura, their DNA is still only that of Senju or rather Uzumaki and Hyuga. However, to be a full-fledged Otsutsuki, they lack the DNA of the Uchiha clan. So if there's ever a Boruto sequel in which Boruto and Sarada have a child, that child will not only have the chakra of Hagoromo and Hamura, but also the DNA, which will then make it a full-fledged Otsutsuki from birth. So what I'm trying to say is that Boruto and Himawari have a DNA combination that has never existed in the world of Naruto. We have seen the DNA combination of Uchiha and Senju, that's Hagoromo. We have also seen the combination of Hagoromo and Hamura, that's Kaguya. But we have never seen the combination of the DNA of the Senju part of Hagoromo combined with the DNA of Hamura. That's not the whole combination to complete Kaguya's DNA. As I said, that will be something that Boruto's and Sarada's child will have. And here we come back to the subject of how DNA and chakra work together. We have already seen some examples of this, where certain powers have awakened when DNA has come into contact with a certain chakra. For example, the Tensei Gan for the Hamura descendants. 
and the Rinnegan for the Hagoromo descendants. However, since Boruto and Himawari have a completely new combination of DNA, it is possible that this unique combination can awaken a power never seen before, at least on Earth, and this has already been proven in Boruto with the Jogun. For the Utsutsukis, this is nothing new because Momoshiki recognizes it immediately, but it is definitely something difficult to obtain. It's almost as if it's in their DNA, but they are unable to manifest this power because the combination of Byakugan and Rinnegan simply doesn't allow the power to be used separately. It could be that the Utsutsuki clan descended from other ancient clans, one of which had the Jogun. Through the combination of the two clans, the Jogun might have been solidified in the DNA, but was surprised pressed by other abilities created by the combination of the two clans. The only way this power can then manifest itself again is for the Otsutskis to genetically split and then reassemble properly so that the DNA that suppresses the Jogun is removed. It could be that this DNA is related to the Rinnegan and with that to the Uchiha clan. To get this ancient power, you have to separate the DNA of the Rinnegan from the Otsutsuki, and that is very difficult. The Otsutsukis would have to make children with creatures that can genetically reproduce with Otsutsukis but have no chakra themselves to prevent the Otsutsuki bloodline from evolving or changing even further, which would make the recreation of the Jogun even more difficult. This fits perfectly to the humans before Kaguya came to Earth. So you have to be an Otsutsuki who has two children with a human, who then both split the DNA of the Byakugan and the Rinnegan, in this case it was Hagoromo and Hamura. Then the side of the Rinnegan must get rid of the Rinnegan itself without losing the DNA of the second side, in this case Hagoromo had two children, Azura and Indra. Azura has the DNA of Hagoromo but no longer the part that causes the Rinnegan. Indra has the Rinnegan and has therefore been separated from this DNA tree. Now the Rinnegan side without the Rinnegan will have to be reunited with the Byakugan side to complete the Utsutsuki bloodline but without restoring the Rinnegan. So the descendants of Asura, that is, the Senju or Uzumaki, must make a child with the descendants of Hamura, that is, the Hyuga clan. And that is exactly what Naruto and Hinata did, they combined the DNA of Hagoromo and Hamura without the Rinnegan aspect, while retaining all the chakra of the full Otsutsuki. This is a process that is almost impossible, that's like playing Monopoly with DNA, and yet it happened. But that only explained Boruto's Jogun. Now what about Himawari? Here's the thing. For some strange reason, in the world of Naruto, when it comes to a combination of DNA and chakra, the DNA splits when part of the parent DNA combination does not mix with part of the chakra combination, which could be the reason why the Utsutsukis have lost the Jogun and also why the Rinnegan was separated. This could then result in one child inheriting one part of the DNA combination and the other child inheriting the other part of the DNA. So if something about the DNA combination of Hinata and Naruto doesn't match up with the Otsutsuki chakra they have, it's possible that it was combined and then split in a completely new way between Himawari and Boruto. So in this case, Boruto created the Jogun and Himawari created something else. This idea becomes clear when you look at their hair. Himawari clearly inherited more of the Hyuga DNA, which is why she manifested a Byakugan-like power. And Boruto has inherited more of the Senju, that is, Uzumaki DNA, which allows him to manifest the Jogen. And this is where the scene from the last manga chapter comes in. So, spoiler, Demon was impressed by Himawari but not Boruto, even though they both have the same parents. What do you think of this theory? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it really helps me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel with the notification bell activated for more Boruto videos, chapter reviews and theories. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.